All right, what's up guys? We are up. We are going to go to a sneaker store to go cash out some shoes. Yeah, we got a little, actually I'm pulling into the driveway now. So I'm actually, I'm pretty much there. Just a little bit of teleportation. Yeah, I should honestly be here like all day. So yeah, I'm gonna film this time. I have my GoPro thing. So yeah, I'll bring the GoPro inside. We'll negotiate on some pairs and hopefully we'll walk away with like maybe like 30-ish pairs, 40. I don't know, that'd be nice. Um, but yeah. Fragment threes. Such a shame that the, the back heel turns yellow. You know what pisses me off though? Like I sold one on Go, and then they're like they send it back. They're like discoloration. I was yeah. Like, Bro, when there's nothing. There's nothing you can do about it. You're not gonna find. There's no brand new pair without discoloration. Could you do 150? Uh, like 180. That one's at, or this one's at least cleaner than that one. This one is clean. Uh, I'll come up to 170. What do you think? It's tough because this is what <laughs> I want. <laughs> Your size? So that's my size. Yep. Here, we'll come back to it. Okay. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about what about the 10? I'd probably be at 150 on this one. That's cool. Beautiful. Size 10? Ball roll, yes sir. Right. Eight and a half. Could you do 40? I'd probably want to be at like 60. 60? Uh could you could you do 50? I'll do 55 each. That's cool, I'll do that. I still have the one I bought from that kid here, so <laughs> taking the risk on those. It's just it's just not a good shoe. <laughs> he actually likes that shoe a lot. Really? I feel like it had potential, but they kind of ruined it with like all the different textures and stuff. I remember when it was like early leak pairs from like, yeah, so Travis is bringing back the air trainers. He's done it again. It's like brick. <laughs> <laughs> Even Travis doesn't have the power to bring those back. Uh, these naturals, I'd shoot a crisp 130. I'll probably be at like 150. 140? I'll probably have to get 150 for this one. Uh, sure, I'll take the risk on those. Could you do 80? I'll probably have to be at 100. 100? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Volt gold and a 5.5. Those are brand new, right? Yeah. Sorry. 70 on the volt? Do 80? I gotta be at 70 on this one. Uh, that's cool. Are you guys gonna go to the, the next Kobe's in March? I don't know. Uh, if we go, it'd probably just be to like. Tens. Yeah, check it out. It's really hit and miss for selling. Yeah. Like, like I did it once and I sold a lot and I was like, man, I'm gonna do this every time. Yeah. And the next time I sold nothing. Uh, these reverse breads, lows, uh, ten new. Could you do eighty on them? Uh, probably have to be at hundred. Let me see. I'll take them. The pollens. There's a eight and a half and a twelve. Uh, the twelve is gone. Okay, so eight and a half. Two. I'll take them both for. I'd have to be at 115. Do 120. It's breaking even on that. That's fine. That was two, right? Yeah. Both sizes. Yeah. That's a uh, two eight and a halfs. Do you want the size eight for the volts, or you just want that five and a half? Let me see what I'd offer on those. What size was that volt gold? Uh, I think it's an eight. Uh, I'd do 100 on those. That's cool. Where were, where were you thinking on these? Because I don't I don't want to like blow you out of the water with this one. You know, those had their days. Yeah, they for sure have. Yeah, let me know where you're at. 11 and a half? Shit. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to hit you with it, but two? Take it. <laughs> Beautiful. We have a 13 also. Of the same one? Is that one new or used? I'll probably do the same. Thanks, Look at that. Two of those. I paid 200 for this one. You did? That's or, pretty good. No, no, no. I paid, sorry. I paid 400 for this Oh, damn. But I'd rather have it gone at this point. Cobalt. You don't think that's a good deal to you? <laughs> Is that what it's at? Yeah. Mine was up to like almost it was. You know what? I used to be able to get 200 all day for them. Yeah, oh, okay. I mean, brand new's at 250. I guess it's not terrible, but not too bad. But for that dunk, I understand. I was going to offer 120. I'm firm at that one too. All right, that's cool. 120 on those? Do you guys ever run out of music to play in here? Like yeah, it circles through the same thing over and over? playing to me about it. <laughs> That's the hard thing that, because you know, to some degree we have like Christian beliefs. So yeah. We don't really want to play like at that ho. <laughs> like, just, like it, just, it makes me sound like a super religious person. Yeah. No, I get it. Like I listen to like J. Cole Kendrick, all that stuff in my car, but. The last Sakai. This was the one I bought the fake of too. This was one of the videos where we had someone bring in a fake and we like, it, it was like one of our like better videos. I think it was like at 15K or something else. Like, We're on. <laughs> We're on. <laughs> like how much studying do you do in terms of like trying to figure out like the algorithm? The main thing I want is for people to come back and see like what I'm about and like the grind I did. Yeah. But like every now and then I'll do a video that'll like, it's called Evergreen, like, like a 
you've done a few, like how to legit check a shoe, how to start reselling. Those are the videos oh, that get people onto your page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then once they see your other videos, like, oh man, these guys are chill. That's how you get to keep them. Mm -hmm. So like majority of the time, I'll just do like what I'm doing right now, just buying shoes and stuff. But then every now and then I'll have that one video that kind of brings new people in. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was surprised we had one video where we just posted like how to price your shoes. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's probably gonna be really slow, like probably hit two, but over time it'll do well. Yeah. It's just like those random videos. Yeah. But, and then it gets people and be like, you know what? He gave me free game. I'll like go show him love or whatever. Yeah. All right. But I think the coolest part is now I get people hitting my DMs coming into the store. Like I had one guy drive all the way from Arizona just to sit down and talk to me. Oh. Just like, and it wasn't even a long conversation. It was like maybe like 20 minute conversation. Yeah. And he's like, all right, peace out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go back home. <laughs> yeah, I was like, all right. Yeah. So for those bad boys, I'm going to be honest, I'm lower than the other ones. Like how much lower? 50 yeah, bucks lower. Uh, so 150. That's cool. 150? Cool. 72 and 10? Yes. Size 8. Could you do 2? Could you do 2 for 220? Yeah, 230. I'll do that. 10 and a half. 170 on these? 170? Yeah. We have these two. Brand new size 9. Uh, 160? That's cool. Beautiful. What'd you guys pay on it? 100? Wow. Well, because we first just told the guy, like, hey, you don't want them. And he's like, yeah. please take them. <laughs> he left and then came back and was like, just give me 100. So, not too bad. That is not bad at all. So, like, when you sell a bunch of stuff to, like, say, like, another reseller guy or something like that, are you just like, no, I gotta sit on my phone and take off all these go, like, listings or something? Honestly, they're still up there. Like, I'm just kind of praying that they don't sell. <laughs> But I do get it every now and then. I'm like, shit, I could have made like 60 bucks off that. Like I sold them an Onyx 380. I bought them for 50, I sold them for 50. But they sold like a week later for like 150 payout. And I was like, ah, oh, man. And he just told me yesterday he broke even on them and put them in a mystery box. I was like, man, no one made money on those. Uh, these Mets, 10 and a half and 10. Could you do 100 on the 10? That's cool. And the 10 and a half, the same? Can you do 110 on that? That's cool. These mocha lows and 10 and 11 no box. I think we only have the 11 left. Okay. Could you do 130? Could you do 150? Ooh, I barely Get out. Fuck it. 140? Uh, that's good. Uh, Concord Brits. 190? It's a big spread. It is. You can't do like 220? 210? That's Sesame's 130? Probably be like another one. It'd be at like 150. Okay, I probably have to hold off on that one. So let's go for like 400 new, no? Yeah. How many pairs did you have when you opened? Not much. Like think, more than 200 or less? I think like, I think I had around 150. 150? And, but like my total cost of it was maybe around like 20 to 25,000 worth of stuff. It's so hard finding like a space. Cause like, I want a space, but like it, if it's too big, like it's gonna look stupid. Cause I only have like 250 pairs at home. Okay. But like everything that fits that is like three grand a month. And like I don't have the bread to fork out for like a like security and stuff. And I'm just like, man, it's so hard because I want to be close to home too. Cause like I don't want to drive back and forth. Hopefully something will open up this year. Yeah, I think my financial advice would say wait a year. Yeah, yeah, no, that too. Cause like I don't know how the economy's going right now. It's not going. So it's yeah. yeah. <laughs> 80. 90. That's cool. Would you say those like they're still like the hottest movers for you? These? Like just dunks and things. Honestly, I don't think so. I still think like fours, threes, but like ones. They're like the hardest thing for you to get. Yeah, them. at least used. New dunks sell a lot better than those. Cause I think it's more like a real sneakerhead that wants like used fours, threes, and ones. Cause yeah. like they don't want to pay the brand new price. Sure. Cause like they know how the game goes. Yeah. What'd you say on it? Seventy. Seventy. That's cool. cool. Curious to see if I sell those for more than that though. So if stuff starts to slow down, buying wise, what's the what's the plan? Or just kind of like write it out? With me expanding to a new shop that cost me like five times as much as this shop yeah. does, then if sales slow down, we still have to find a way to keep it up. So right now we're about 30% our business is online, 70% okay. is in store. That's that's, that's a pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. But I think what's going to end up happening is this year we're going to pretty much flip flop is going to be like 30% in store and then 70% online. Yeah. So online's so important. I mean, it's nice that we didn't have to rely on it to do the numbers that we were doing. Starting off, I would say always do online. Yeah. Do your bread and butter. For sure. Because what I did when I first started is I stopped doing eBay because I got too overwhelmed with the work of just doing the shop, you know, and you have to do what you got to do. But 
um, when I finally had some help, we went back to eBay and like we were flying through half of our stuff wow. at our prices or like even above our price. We we're making some like more money on eBay sometimes. But now with our clientele building a little bit more, doing more exposure, then it picks up. So it's like a trade off, but yeah, the new year, this whole year we're shifting over. So GOAT is like the beginning. It sucks because like if the economy was like last year, like this would be a great year to expand. Yeah. And, like, but That's like why. I'm stuck in like that middle area where I'm just like, I kind of have to stick it out. Yeah. I think the other side is probably businesses are going to start closing, which is just the sad truth of yeah. what it's going to be. It happened two years ago too, so. Yeah, and then so you're just going to have to, I think if you wait, you could find a better spot for cheaper. Yeah. And then move in when you feel like the time is right. So that way you lock into a better deal. Cause right, and usually after like a recession, the market booms really fast. So then after that, like it's gonna be almost like- but The whole thing is, can you time that? Yeah, like after that, it's like COVID again, like when everyone had all the money. Oh man, that was, oh, what a golden age. Just you could like, go into Foot Locker yeah. and make 50 bucks yeah, every time. Instantly. You know, it, was like, it was so crazy. Yeah. But that's, it's gonna be completely opposite moving into this next year. You're gonna be like trying to sell a shoe for a good deal and no one's gonna buy it. Cause at He's, the end of the day, it's a commodity. Yep. Unless like that's why I'm liking like the cheaper shoes right now, mm -hmm. like the like the like the sixty to like one fifty range, because like that's still like around what people would normally pay for a shoe. So I'm like, you know, that's the, I think at the end of the day those will probably sell like no matter what. But like the five hundred thousand dollar pairs of shoes, yeah, we're those are probably not going to be selling as well. Or like we're gonna we're starting to sell them like cheaper, even like shattered backboard ones. Like yeah, I think we sold a pair because they're brand new. They're still at like twelve. I think we sold a pair for like. 550 or 650 and it sold right away but i was telling the customer I was like yo if our price is anything over it's gonna sit yeah these flues two it's a fire shooting uh that's cool. beautiful 12 just don't sit right on my feet like there's so many shoes i like it yeah. just they don't go well with my body yeah same thing i like, like sixes 12s. i can't wear sixes i like 11s i can't wear 11s they just they look weird on my feet like yeah. they just they look like they don't belong that's how i felt about threes and fours but now i have a couple pairs of threes Fours, I'm still like, I don't, the only pair of fours I have is the cause fours. Man. And I like never wear them because they look like black cats. And I was like, what's Dude, nice black cats. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what's the Crying on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could you do 100 on these? What color is that? Uh, Arrowhead? Arrowhead? That'll be drying up pretty soon because those are not going to come back in circulation. Have you seen the uh, Nike slots? Yeah, they have some Nike Those are so ugly. That's some Nike slides. They are releasing more 350s. I saw that, but without like... Oh, they are for sure. The name yeah, on it? It's for sure. They're really going to figure out that people really care about the name. Yeah, they're going to find out quick. <laughs> they're going to find out quick that no one's buying them. Cause that, I mean, realistically, the 350s are kind of ugly. The they had their day. I'll only grab them because they're easy. Yeah, literally. Yeah, so like... I don't know if they can convert that into like how, what they did with the ultra boost and kind of pivot like that I feel like maybe they could do it, but it might, they might be too far gone. That's their last hope man Let That's me hold on to this one. Could you do 180 on the desert moss? Yeah, like 220 probably my lowest one. Okay, I'll hold off on those Gray fogs They're so low <laughs> Which one? Oh these? The, yeah, yeah, the fact that we have them for a hundred is crazy too 50? I'll do 70 I'll do that. It's a union for 70. This is funny because we had like people wanting, they're like 300. It's crazy when they first came. Kind of oh yeah, they were like five. Or like the other ones were. Size 13 for the rattan was like at 750. And now it's at like now 180. <laughs> All right, so the GoPro has been charging in the car. Uh, I just finished up that deal. We picked up 42 pairs. The total was 62 or 6,250 bucks. And now I'm gonna be going to their next location, just knock out two in a day. I could probably still fit like another 30 pairs in the car. And then I have another meetup. I'm gonna meet him there. So yeah, but first I'm gonna go to Burger King. I know, Burger King, that's crazy. The word's coming out of my mouth right now. But I am so hungry that I will literally eat anything, even the slop that they provide at Burger King. So yeah, I'm gonna go here real quick, regret it, and then drive like 30 minutes away and pick up more shoes all right just went to the bank again to go grab cash before they close because i'm sure this deal is going to take more than an hour but yeah the, also the dude i'm going to meet just got there so we're going to do that little meetup first then we're going to go inside the store buy some more pairs we can take these out how much did you say on these ones again uh 210 210 yeah. i didn't even know this holy ground was here yeah this is the one that's brand new yeah was this the only one? Yeah, okay, uh, cool. so the only ones I got uh, rid of, the royalties, and then the military, I wasn't sure on, so I just, Well, yeah. whenever you're ready, man. For sure. I'm here. I thought, yeah, they were just, I thought they were just out of the high E. Yeah, no, they opened this one uh, a couple months ago, like, uh, he said Black Friday. 
Oh shit. Yeah. And they paid pretty well too on stuff. I'm about to check it out. I was gonna go in there to see what they had. Yeah, I know I'm about to take a whole bunch of shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just hit their their Braille look or the, the upland one. Yeah. Yeah. Are you stocking for in a bit? No, just trying to start the new year strong. Can't argue with that, I feel that. It's kind of where I'm at too. I'm trying to get ahead, which is why I let Yeah. Go. Last year I fucked up, so I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna fuck up like last year. Exactly. Just got it. Yeah. Got it. Appreciate you. Beautiful. Well, I'll be in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Appreciate you, bro. Just trying to pick these up. Man. Anything just I can make money on. Just anything that you pretty much, honestly. Because I'm like, we'll make some think you can make money off this thing. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's like a shoe you don't see very often. It's pretty it's clean. I like and like there might be that one person on my Instagram that's been waiting Definitely. for years for those. Hopefully. But then again, I could hold them for like six months. So that's, that's, that's the, the risk you gotta like, take. With me, it's yeah. like I know whenever this shoe comes in again to the store, I'm not gonna take it anymore. Yeah. yeah. MX, uh, which ones are those? The, the five? MX rock and the size five. Right here. Could you do, could you do 110? Mm -hmm. I would be at 130. 130? Could you meet me at a crisp 120? That's cool. I'd do the same on those. Do the same on these? Yeah. I'd do the same on the 13 and a half too. 120 each on those? Nine and a half or 13 and a half. Could you do 100 on the Zion? I could do 100. Remember when people were buying these like crazy thinking they were gonna go up? <laughs> never really been on any type of easy. They're too unpredictable. Yeah, exactly. But if you had slides, Onyx slides, yeah, like three months ago, months. you're up. Yeah, yeah. There's some dude who's been selling them to us like crazy recently just because he bought them all like around like 60 a piece. Shit, dude. Even, like, I was buying Onyx pairs for like 100 bucks and I was skeptical buying a hundred yeah. for 100 bucks. So you said 100 on the down? Yeah. That's probably the best I could do on those ones too. One time maybe? I'll do that. I'd offer a hundred on the blue tints. That's probably the best I do on those ones though. Honestly, I'm gonna hold off on these creams. I forgot they have like five colors now. <sighs> these bad boys. <laughs> nah, dude, I clean every single one. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking grind. I've offered a few people a job to try to clean it, but like no one wants to do it. It's the worst part of the job. It's not fun. Like you get all dirty, you get dog shit on you. Like that's the whole reason I started doing this shit. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Damn, I don't want to do it, but a 140. Those ones in the, uh, what was the one before? Like the one with the eyes on them? The ones that came up, yeah, the ones that came up before those, those were crazy. I like the eye ones a little bit. Yeah, same. But like forces, like they look so bad when you start wearing them. I'm not a bit, like me, like tall and lanky, I can't wear the Air Forces at all. Yeah, I'm not a big Air Force. I don't, I don't think I have any. I wore like, a, like an all white pair once, wore it that one time, and then wore it again. Yeah. They look good that first wear though. Exactly. I think my most on this one probably is on 80. Okay, I'll hold off on that one. Cool. Could you do 80 on this one? These are tough. I just bought them at the other store. And it's the 10, the 10, Yo, you bought, you the bought 10 and a half? Do you know yeah, how much you paid um, that chance? Shit, well, what's the, what's the, the dude that works over there? Um, he wanted them? Yeah, the one, that, the one that has the Grinches. Yeah. I paid a 220 on them. Yesterday he was like, yeah, I paid him a buy on them. <laughs> Could you do 140? 50 maybe? Look at that. It's a beautiful shoe. Yeah, I like the shoe. I need that in my size. It's hard to come up. But I'm not spending $300. Exactly. Like if that 10 and a half fits me when I get home, it might be. <laughs> you like these? I like that pair actually. I've been trying to find a pair of my size for so long, but I'm not trying to pay it like over two. Yeah. Especially because like these pairs are usually like already ripped up. Yeah, and they charge more for them. <laughs> would you tear them up? I would tear them up, yeah. 150 for the eight and a half? I think I'd just be a little higher up on these. Okay. I think I could sell them on GOAT. It is a good GOAT pair. Ten and a half too? Hold off? Yeah, I think I'll just hold off. Okay. 50 for these mids? Did you pay 80 for them? I'd pay 60. Oh, I'll just hold off. Okay. What were those at? 80. 40? I'll take 40. Does the other shoe have the stain too? No, just that one. Just this one? Is this the one with the with the bad heel crease or is the other one worse? Let me double check that one. Yeah, it's got some heel creasing for sure. Could you do 180? Could you uh, 200 for them? I'll do two. Okay, do you, I'm still losing 20 bucks on this one. Damn. <laughs> They're so clean. They're just like, it's a good beater. Exactly. That's what I thought someone would pick them up for. They've been sitting here too long. I was like, just getting them out. It's tough. Like those you like really use pairs like that one. Yeah. Cause like you'll find the person that likes it, but they just they pick it up and they see it. And they're like, yeah. ah. A few people have picked it up and they're like, they'll call up like, hey, what do you think with the blue stains? All right? And they're like, nah. Yeah. Turbos. Turbos. One eighty. 
Oh, this one. Oh, turbos used to fly. Yeah, that's a good shoe. I'm so, that's why I'm like weird that I've had this one for so long. Just the hype transfers over to something else. Could you do two for them? I'll do two on that one, but could you do 180 on the other one? It's a little bit more used. It's an 11-2. You said 180 on that one? Yeah. Could I do two for the ball? I paid 330 for this pair. <laughs> We've just had it for a while, though, I think. I think I got this one mistake with this one, and this is the one I've had the longest. I paid 180 for this one. I'll do two. Okay. Yeah. Switch. Shit, Andrew lost uh, I bought uh, all the LD waffles. <laughs> you bought all of them? Yeah. <laughs> he was willing, he was willing to, to take a pretty fat loss. He said he paid 400 for them. Yeah. And I bought it for 150. <laughs> and then the gray one, I paid two. One thing Angie's taught me though is just like take your losses, dude. Take the losses. Just it's not worth it. Yeah. Like keep the money moving, because then you have shitty inventory. Exactly. exactly. Like they come back and you're like, ah, that didn't I see that last week? With, with you cashing us out here, like we'll just immediately use the money that you give yeah. us. Let's start buying money for the next week. Yep. Because we'll oh. I think I came what, like on the 20th of December, mm -hmm. and you guys are having pretty much like all new stuff. And then we re on the whole yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's how that's how these stores should be run. So that's why it's like I've learned too. It's like losing 20 bucks. It's like whatever. Man. Yeah, because then you can make 80 you made or whatever. Yeah, yeah shit, exactly. You know? So well, with that great. being said, 120. <laughs> <laughs> Those used to move so crazy. Can you do 130 for I can do 130. 130 for the diamond mid. It's an 11 and a half. Can you do 140? I can do that. So the prep for you on sneaker expo is to then or more buying? I don't even think I'm going to go anymore after this. That makes sense. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't really want to go at first, <laughs> but I just I needed inventory. But I was like, shit, man, I don't even need to go. Mainly just people. Most stores don't really fuck with the idea. 100 each on the Hyper Royal. Could you 120 piece? I couldn't. I come up to 105. Okay. 90 on these alternate bread. Yeah, I'll do that. Eight and a half, nine and a half, eleven. I'll do a hundred on the eight and a half. It says here I have two and a half. So that, I'll offer the same on that one. Uh, and then a hundred on the nine and a half. And then on the eleven, the eleven I'd offer one thirty. Eleven's gone. Okay. Could you do one twenty for the nine and a half and a hundred? Hundred's cool for the eight and a half. Yeah, I'll take the eight and a half. So you could, yeah, that's cool. So two eight and a halves and a nine and a half. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I don't know how to turn the lights on in here, but I'm gonna assume you guys can kind of, you guys can kind of see me there. All right, so we just finished up at the second location. Uh, we bought so many pairs, in fact, that they actually don't fit in my car. There's another uh, 10, I believe, 10 or 15, uh, still in the store that I'm gonna go pick up tomorrow morning. But yeah, crazy day. Was not expecting to buy 100 pairs of shoes today. Um, that's definitely gonna be the title of the video. Now we have an hour drive back home, but tomorrow we have a story sale. But I think I'm gonna postpone that until I can come back, pick these shoes up, and come back home. So yeah, that's that's that. That's what's going on. All right, what's up, guys? It is the next day. I didn't do anything last night. I just brought the pairs inside. Actually, no, I didn't even do that till this morning. So I got home, called it a day, but I just came back from the shop again. I picked up a few more pairs, just the ones I was missing, and then a few extra ones. Um, didn't bring the camera, but uh, this is everything we picked up from the shop. And then we also have uh, a few more right here. There's also a few more in the kitchen that are gonna get cleaned. So I think I picked up like a total of like 120, 110, somewhere around there. So that's pretty solid. Uh, again, shout out to Andrew, shout out to the whole Holy Ground crew, super cool guys. Um, I'll put their Instagram right there if you guys wanna go shoot them a follow. But uh, yeah, also there's my Instagram if you guys wanna shoot me a follow as well. But that's all I have to say for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't, you know, that sucks. Leave a hate comment. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Till next time, guys. Peace. Yeah. Gangin' her, huh, slangin' her, huh, lookin' nigga really gettin' checks now, yeah. Niggas, her, huh, hatin' her, huh, never can't stay to get a bust down, yeah. Patience, her, huh, waitin', never too early tryna flex now, yeah. Diamonds, her, huh, swangin' her, huh, knowin' that it's comin', never back out, yeah.